Ohio Governor Mike DeWine today presented a wide range of proposals to reform policing across the Buckeye State. They include reclassifying chokeholds as deadly force, the establishment of a psychological screening process for would-be officers, six hours of conflict de-escalation training, keeping a database of all incidents where force is used open to the public and mandating independent, not internal investigations following any use of force or deadly officer involved shootings. But there are some officers officers in Ohio who just are not cut out to be in law enforcement. And they have no place being in a position of trust. There is mixed reaction to those proposals. WCPO 9 News reporter Kristen Swilly shares two very different concerns that former members of law enforcement have about the possible changes. While much of the conversation has turned to abolishing the police, those interested in reform say this list is a good starting point. They say it's going to take a lot of work and potentially a lot of money to make a change. The, the bigger picture is what we're concerned about. State Senator Cecil Thomas was a Cincinnati police officer for nearly three decades. He and other lawmakers are calling on the governor to declare racism a public health crisis to address what he says is at the root of today's unrest. Until that occurs, not just with the uh, executive branch, uh, you also have to have your legislative branch and your judicial branch all be in agreement that uh, racism is a Price, uh, health crisis. He thinks DeWine's proposal should include even stronger language against chokeholds and believes defunding certain agencies should be on the table as a last resort. But Thomas does agree with much of Governor DeWine's list, including psychological exams. Uh, we got to have a mechanism in place that will uh, uh, establish some red flags that uh, can be identifiable. And he says the proposal to use outside agencies for investigations is key to any reform. There's obviously a, a level of distrust. And, you know, uh, come on, you can't have the police investigating themselves. Gene Ferrara is a former UC police chief. I don't know of anyone that would have a quarrel with the concepts of this, but the devil's in the details. He says training is valuable in any department, but it's expensive and runs counter to current nationwide calls to defund the police. You just can't give me money for a Ford and request a Rolls Royce. And in terms of outside investigators. I would want somebody to be on the investigating agency that has some experience with being out there on the street. Both men agree there's a way to build better policing. These proposals are recommendations to the state legislature. The Ohio Legislative Black Caucus has said this is just one part of the greater reform that is needed to see a change. Reporting at Cincinnati Police District Headquarters, Kristen Swilly, WCPO 9 News.